three, two, one. Oh my God, that's called Wowie Wee Wee Woo. Woo. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Mozzie, You Betcha Guy, here with Ryan, the t shirt guy. We are live in the Troy Escalade Jackson Memorial Studio Podcast Studio. We are live. We are rolling. We are ready to roll. We are presented by the one, the only Ice Mountain. Cools you off on a hot summer day. Also keeps you hydrated. Ryan, you you well and hydrated? I got mine right here. Brand new bottle, baby. Hydrated Ryan is in the house. It's lumberjack week. Come on now. Lumberjack week. Woo! I am at peak hydration levels. <clears throat> I was in Milwaukee last week. Me, Jake, and Jared were. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, I went to a movie last week. Nice. Just like on, like in Milwaukee? In Milwaukee, yeah. We had some extra time. Me and Ann went on a little date. I am uh, completely... Uh, uh, let me get there. I am completely <laughs> unsure how the movie theater business is still in business. There was, I was, we were the only people in the movie theater. Did you go to a, like a, was it an evening show or was it a matinee? No, it was an evening show. Okay. Mm. Seven, eight o'clock ish. That's prime time. It too. is prime time. Middle of the week. Yep. Popcorn trick and all. Cause we're the only ones <laughs> yeah, in the theater. Yeah. Did you, you get a binky? Need, you don't even need the popcorn bucket if you're the only ones in there. Yep. Um, Unbelievable that they still have theaters without the dream loungers as well. Yeah, I'm Wait, with you. On there that. was no dream loungers. It was just regular seats. Woof. That's tough. Yeah. What do you expect on a Greg Marcus run institution? That is very true. There's um, one in one in Fargo gets Greg Marcus that doesn't all. all yeah, have this those. was a Marcus theater, by the way. Yeah. We showed up. The amount of people in the entire movie theater to staff ratio. There was 10 to 1 staff to people <laughs> there. <laughs> really? 20 people and then you and Ann. Ann and I just wanted some popcorn, obviously. Uh, and <laughs> there was six people behind the counter. Yeah. yeah. Milling around. I don't know what they were doing. And it also took like three minutes for one of them to help us. Oh, it's the worst. I, I was like, what's going on? They probably had one person uh, putting the pot, like the popcorn in the deal. They had one person putting butter on it, one person putting salt on, and then they had one person actually putting it in the bag. Yeah. It's a five man operation. Yeah. If you think about it. And, and the then, one person in charge of taking orders was yeah. in the bathroom. So that's why you. Yeah, taking right. a piss. The other ones didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And then there was a person checking your tickets before you go mm-hmm. and a security guard sitting there. <laughs> what cool. Fully stuffed. Yeah, what, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, movie theater. There's yeah, always there's, security guards in movie theaters. Yeah, most of the time. There's been some, some. yeah, you know. All I know is I saw 10 staff, and there was me and Ann, and I was like, hey, we're the only ones. And then there was a weird, th- so, okay, listen to this. There was actually supposed to be another couple in the movie theater. So Ann and I saw online, you buy your tickets, you can see what seats are taken already. Yeah. Two other seats were taken. Ann and I get there before them, apparently. Then they walk in and they go and sit down for shit you not 30 seconds. They had snacks and everything and just up and left. They got pissed there was no dream loungers. Well, I don't know. That and they were they were thought they were gonna be the only yeah. ones, so that they thought they could yeah. they could get jiggy with I it. I really, in the really impeded on his popcorn trick. You, yeah. yeah, they booked their tickets before you, saw that the whole theater was yep. empty. They're like, all right, popcorn bucket secured. Yeah. And they show up, and there you are. Yeah. I just, but do you think they went to a different, where did they go? Well, maybe. Were they, they went to a, find an empty theater. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably were true. Were they younger, like under 17? No. Okay. They were just probably 30. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Very that, strange behavior going on in Milwaukee. I don't know what's going on at the theaters, but. That is weird, because every time I go to the movies here, it's even in the middle of the week. It's at least half full. Mm-hmm. I always catch myself when I walk into the movies when they, I mean, this is a, it's a super cliche, but when they say enjoy the movie, I always say you too. Yeah. And I can't like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a creature of habit type of thing to where even though they're not coming to watch the movie with me, I take it as they are. Mm-hmm. Enjoy well, your, they might enjoy be up flight, in the projector YouTube. room watching it. Enjoy the movie. You too. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would be not shocked if there was four people in each projector room at this theater. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Just watching the same movie over yeah. and over. What did you go see? 
What oh, movie me? did you see? Yeah. yeah. It was one Jennifer Lawrence one. It's actually pretty funny. Oh yeah, yeah. The I'm not running home to tell mom about it though. <laughs> yeah. God, what the fuck's the name of it? I don't remember. Me either, but I know what movie you're talking about. It looks good. Hunger Games. So to kind of backtrack, yeah. why I feel like there's a lot of stuff to do in Milwaukee. Why why a movie? It was raining out. Oh. Mm. And it's a very rainy day type of activity. Which, is, yeah. which should make the theater more packed. You'd think so. Did you so, read the Google reviews? Is this a sh- like some shit go down at this theater? And they're just like, I don't want to go there. I don't think so. I don't know. I th- well, if that's the case, though, it was nice. There was no one there. So, um, Question for you. Uh-huh. When you go to a city like that, it's so weird because you feel obligated to do something. Mm-hmm. Correct? In reality, it was during the week. Yeah. Ann and I could have just treated it like we were at home, which if we were at home, I'd come home, throw my hat on the ground, <laughs> have dinner, <laughs> sit on the couch, watch TV until 10 o'clock, and then go to bed. Yeah. Why, do, why be, when you travel to different cities, do you feel obligated to have to go do stuff at night, take advantage? Well, I think it's because you don't, um, in, in most people's situations, probably not yours, but you don't know when you're going to be able to get back there again. I know, but we did something that I could have just done in Fargo. Yeah. And it maybe it was, I want to say if Anne wasn't with you, you wouldn't have went to a movie. No. Is that correct? That would have been a psycho <laughs> move. Yeah. So did you, I mean, did you ask her, say, hey, is there anything you want to do tonight? And she recommended the movie. Is that I don't know how we, to? I don't know how we went on there, but. They both, it's a simulation. They both were just coded to go to the movie theater that day. Yeah. I don't know. What was going on, but or maybe you saw your scr- she was scrolling on social media and saw a trailer for it. She's like, Oh, that'd be super fun. And then I was like, Hey, we have an idea t- for something to do tonight, let's just go do that. Well, so the reason I, I like to do stuff when I'm traveling is because the kids aren't there and they're all mm. taken care of. I was like, I might as well take advantage of this, like, I might as well go do something because I'm at home, I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the, it's a classic, like, well, you know, you can do this anytime at home. So why would you do it somewhere where you're on vacation? Like I, I wouldn't have went to a movie if I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But yeah. if it was raining, you might have. Yeah. And you had to do something. I probably would have maybe looked for a cheesecake factory somewhere. They have them, believe it or not. Yeah, never been to be honest. Really? So it's just another restaurant. They I know have a shit ton of cheesecakes though. Yeah. They do. They do. I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. It's, uh, like, it's like a factory system. <sighs> You guys. But on the other hand, I feel like I would have maybe looked for like a like a an arcade style bar or something like no, that. No, you wouldn't have, have those here. Uh, you would no, have I, absolutely not have done that on a rainy day. If it wasn't raining, I would look for I would look for any sporting event, whether that's independent baseball or the Milwaukee Brewers or anything outdoors. But because it was, that's what I'm saying. Because it was raining, I'm like, okay, what can we do that's fun inside? Well, we could go to an arcade bar. Museum, you fun. love museums after DC. I only love DC museums. I don't love museums. <laughs> Fuck Milwaukee yeah. museums. Yeah, I mean, what's there in Milwaukee to see True. in a museum? Ooh, Tried the shit. Charlie Barron's museum one day. Yeah. <sighs> so someday there will be. I don't know. I, I feel like uh, you got to take it. It's like eating stuff on vacation that you normally couldn't eat at home. You got you just have to go do that, yeah. whether you're hungry Something or not. Some about it. Also, insane. They didn't have the TV in our hotel room. You couldn't watch Netflix or any other apps. We just had to watch regular TV. Mm, so you had a dumb TV. Yeah. There was no smart involved at all. <laughs> yeah, wait, See, I, actually, I didn't even know they still made non-smart TVs anymore. So when I went to DC, that was the first time I had ever watched Netflix on a hotel TV. Really? So that's not even like, that's not the norm for me just so, yet. Where was it? We were two trips ago, we didn't have Netflix on our TV. Or at least I didn't, and I had to hook up the switch so I could watch Hulu. God, where the fuck was that? I, I kind of but update on Greg Marcus intro. They're getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. He's I got think the one. one he did now, he tried to throw in some dad jokes that were really, really bad. And I hated it. I hated it. it almost it almost made me leave too. Would, <laughs> did they leave during Greg Marcus? Was it, that it? It might have. That might have been the, the the yeah. yeah. They're like, oh fuck it. This man. movie sucks. Um well, it wasn't the binky one, right? Where he pulls out his fucking childhood blankie. Oh, God, I don't know. That's it. the worst one. Well, yeah, he has one childhood blankie, and then he gives it to his buddy, and then he pulls out his new one, and just had his face printed on the blanket. 
It's the worst. He's a narcissist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. I mean, to put your own face on it. He's a decent guy. Let's give him a break. Yeah. That's all he knows. <laughs> It's all he knows. What's he going to do when the movie theater industry I collapses? Know. I don't know. He should start Marcus streaming is what he should do. <laughs> that's all the new God, actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. If he was smart. Streaming was smart. in hotel TVs. Yeah. Something like that. Or he gets all those dream loungers on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> you probably get a pretty penny for those. One. Big yeah. liquidation sale from Marcus Theaters. Yep. Slightly used. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a sad day when it finally does crumble down and we're going to be like, we told you so. I think we've talked about this before, but if you look at the Dream Lounger logo on their billboard, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's a dick and balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. Um, what did, uh, I mean, Jake and Jared, you guys had an evening to yourselves. What did you guys do? What did we do? They were the couple that walked in before you guys and turned around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were, yeah. Uh, I think we watched the home run derby. I think that's all okay. Yeah. Sucks now. Mm-hmm. Home run derby sucks now. I didn't watch it. So basically what happens is you get three minutes to hit as many balls as you can. Yeah. You don't even get to savor each home run. No. Quite literally before another ball is before the home run ball is even in the crowd. He's already hit another ball. Yep. Hmm. That's it's lame. just, I think back to when Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire times, when you had 10 outs, yep. you hit the ball. HGH. Everyone watches it to see if it goes out. It's great. A lot of steroids, yep. everything. A lot of anger. A lot of needles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> La- yeah. A lot of cork in the bat. <laughs> so awesome. Those were the good old days. They were. They were. And I hate to be the guy who sounds like an old man who hates innovation, but I don't think we needed to innovate that one. So if they're, are they still doing like, fun guest pitchers then if they got to throw that many balls in three minutes yeah there's you can pick whatever pitcher you want there's one player that had his dad pitch to him right which i think i I don't know if i would go with my dad if he had to get that many balls to me that fast right yeah you could pick whoever you want Hmm. i don't think there's any celebrity celebrity pitchers though I mean, you're picking the best person to, that would throw BP right, to you. Right, right. Well, I, I mean, imagine how many times his dad has thrown BP to him in his life. Yeah, but like... If, if Ryan got selected fire. to be the pitcher for me in the home run derby, <laughs> he, he, he literally wouldn't get a pitch to the mound because he'd submarine every pitch into the little cage that's in front of him. The L screen, yeah. The L screen. Like, just right into the side of the L screen. I'd be like... Get it up a little bit. Yeah. And then he so just weird. would go. Uh, they got the L screen <laughs> yeah. upside down. So the gap is where is the release. No, is. no. For softball, for softball players, they have, it's just a, a big square with a, a hole in the net. So you throw through the hole. Maybe you need a softball one. I might need a softball <laughs> net for my BP. How do you think? If I had six months to train and. I got 30 minutes to hit balls. Do you think I could hit one home run in an MLB po- MLB park? For sure. Mm. Six months. Of tri- for I thought sure. you were going to say, could I compete in the home run? No, party? God, no. <laughs> no, no. that's uh, for sure. Yeah. You think? I mean, if, yeah. It, like if we're playing, uh, do you, do you, sw- you hit lefty? I was a switch hitter. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to, we're going to, we'll put you on the left side of the plate. Um, like Fenway Park is only uh, probably right side's better chance for me. Okay, that makes it a, a little harder, but not much. Jake, what's Fenway no, to go. right field? Is it like 290, 310? Yeah, it's 310 to right field. Feet or yards? Feet. How about, what is that? Hundred meters. Meters. Uh okay. hundred meters. meters. Roughly, give or take. I think I could do a hundred meters. Yeah. Six months for sure. Now we put you on the right side of the plate at Fenway. I mean, the it, r- left field's not that far, but you got you know thirty foot wall. You got to hit it over. I there. think that this plays into a little bit of the every man thinks that they could safely land a plane in a crisis. If I think this is a little bit similar. If if Mission Control was walking you through it, I think we could do it. Are we all in unison? We haven't talked about this yet, have we? No, we should though. Mission Control. What the air pe- traffic? Control? Okay, so here's the situation, Ryan. Either or. Ryan, something has happened to the pilot. Plane is in crisis mode. Someone needs to do an emergency landing. You've been selected to do it. Could you safely land a plane 
without any prior experience with mission control walking you through it? I would say yeah. <laughs> I think I could yeah. as well. I would say yeah. Jared, didn't you say there was a YouTube video guy who actually did it? Uh, uh Jake did, yeah. Yeah, Jake yeah, Jake saw somebody. Yeah, it was Tom Scott. So did he proved that that's true? Yeah. Well, yeah, and we're YouTubers, so if he can fucking do it, we can do it. What's other things you look at that you think you could do? Oh man. <sighs> I could probably be a psychic. That'd probably be pretty easy. A what? A psychic. A psychic. psychic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me six months. Easy. I, I no could problem. convince you guys that so- I'm telling the truth. Yeah, that's so easy. Yeah. It's such a scam. You think you could be a private investigator? I do think you, I could. Do you know, do, like, do you think you would know the right things to look for? The problem is I think I would chase a lot of ghost leads. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'd, get, I'd get one thing in my head and I'd be like, this is it. Yeah. You know? Or I would look too far into something and make a bigger conspiracy than what there would be. Yeah. Right? Okay. Jared wants me to privately investigate uh, his cousin's girlfriend who he thinks is cheating on her right i would drum up this entire conspiracy <laughs> and it would be just false and she was probably just banging the guy next door <laughs> i'd have like a work you know but the boss would be under fire it'd be a whole thing yeah you're like parked outside the apartment you just like fall asleep do a recon yeah <laughs> yeah also side note how in the movie this is what has always bothered me about movies it seems to be that no one ever suffers from sleep deprivation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Mm-hmm. They'll Coffee be like adrenaline, right? Like even TV shows, they'll be like, they'll go all like, uh, what do you call it? Super bad. Isn't that an entire movie about like basically one night? Yeah, and that goes all the way till the morning. Yeah, and they don't really seem to be that tired. <laughs> right. Well, imagine like imagine the um, imagine the uppers they have access to and like the um, what do you call it? I mean, you got you got cops finding drugs on the street all the time. They're booking them into evidence. Imagine oh, yeah. imagine the access that these guys have to that. Yeah, I you mean, think, do you think? But you, just like in a regular Joe Schmo movie, yeah, like The Hangover. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Days like, and Confused is a classic because they go from <laughs> the last day of school till the next morning. Well, you're just talking about regular people in movies, not like yeah. not police officers or not both. No, just anyone. Regardless, anywhere. like no one gets tired. It's just a very unrealistic thing. <laughs> the show Billions. He does he does like shady business stuff at like three in the morning, <laughs> and he wakes up at six the next day and works out, and he's just <laughs> on point. Just would never happen in real life. You like that show, huh? I do like that show. I I got asked if I was doing something on August 11th, so I went to my calendar and looked at it, and I saw Miles has on his calendar billion season premiere. Well, it's because he's the stoked. good the character that was good the one he's back, and it's the final uh, season, mm. so I'm all in. I was like, you know, Miles likes it if he put it on his Google Calendar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't understand it. I've tried that; doesn't go well for me. I can do it for about a day, and then I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> I just don't understand how people are doing stuff without sleep. Right. I think there's a small percentage of the population that can function off of very little sleep. Not me. What are they called? Insomniacs. Yeah, people with insomnia. I think they just call don't that sleep. schizophrenia. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, God. You see the TikTok of the guy comes home like, ah, I just got new schizophrenia medicine. I got to tell my roommate. And he just <laughs> runs around the house and there's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> where, where are you? <laughs> Ellipses. So, yeah. I, I would like a movie to be realistic. Where once you want to see him sleeping. Yeah, it's like yeah. I, want, I want the middle part of the movie to be them five minutes tired, sleeping. fall asleep, wake up, and then do it again. I just want yeah. them to be like, like the one time it was realistic was in the show Succession when Tom Wansgans oh, yeah. is getting pissed at everyone for how tired he is. Yeah, that was a realistic yeah. thing that happened. Yeah, yeah, he's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my eyes are like sandpaper right yeah. now. Like he's the first time in TV history that someone's act accurately 
shown what sleep deprivation is like. I feel like a lot of movies too, like the opening scene is like an alarm clock just just going off that the rails true. and people like they're like throwing their arm over to to shut it off and then they just the don't sleep the rest of the movie yeah that was a hell of a nap yeah a great nap mm-hmm. i think back to the future starts that way really <laughs> yeah i oh, you know yeah. it's gonna be a good movie when it starts with an alarm clock yeah, oh yeah <laughs> meep, meep, meep. And then it's ferris bueller's uh, day off starts with that if i remember correctly yep uh-huh Yep. Every good movie starts with an alarm clock scene. I feel like one of the American <laughs> Pies started that way oh, too. Yeah, uh, yeah Stifler probably waking up next to some chick. Movie doesn't officially <laughs> start with it, but when Spider Man wakes up with powers, Toby Maguire slaps the alarm clock and destroys it, and then doesn't sleep the rest of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. He's up fighting crime every fucking night. Unbelievable. Well, also, no one's using really using alarm clocks anymore. Yeah. Do I, they have they have phone alarm clocks in present day movies now? Or is it still just the... I think that maybe have eliminated the opening Mm -hmm. alarm clock scene. Not having alarm clocks anymore. Just (laughs) not the same having to be a phone. No. Prop masters in Hollywood are losing their jobs left and right to cell phones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) There's someone who's been licensing the alarm sound for movies. Yeah. For years, and now he's just on the street. Got replaced. Bought an island. Yeah. I'll make my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bought a yacht. Oh, I can pay for this. It ain't going to slow down. Yeah. People <laughs> always got to wake up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now people are using alarm clocks that like slowly get light. So you can mm. naturally wake up from mm. whatever. I do think that one of the worst things that's happened since the internet came along is the over optimization of humans. <laughs> the amount of productivity hack TikTokers out there mm-hmm. is unreal. I don't know if you guys yeah. have ever got on yeah. that before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They talk about having a second brain where they have a database of all of their notes and thoughts and they're scheduling all of every moment of their time. Yep. Ice this baths. and that. It's like, yeah. Ice bath saunas. It's unreal. It's like there's no way it made you that much better of a human being. Mm-hmm. And if it and the thing is, is like, if it was truly how you got to be like really successful, wouldn't like Jay Z be doing all this stuff? <laughs> My thought always is, yeah, all, all this could be true, but I guarantee you, after you posted this, you scrolled this app for an hour. You were on this app yeah. just looking at trash like the rest of us. Yeah, it's unbelievable for sure. Yeah, definitely. Like all the self help people on TikTok are also on TikTok, yeah. not self-helping. It's like, okay, you take the ice bath. That's fine. Made you feel a little better. What did you do with that? What did you, what did that accomplish? How good you felt good for a half hour until your body regulated again, and then you're what? <laughs> right. What was the point? Yeah. Could have had a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I would never take an ice bath. Don't give me that. Okay. <laughs> right. You're not posting about it. I don't, I don't know, know if I would. It's just over optimization. We don't need to do any more. We don't need to wake up at 445 instead of 515. Yeah, right. What are you going to do? That's 30 minutes, though. That's important <laughs> ass shit. That 30 minutes, yeah. Well, no, no. I, sorry. I'm saying the 30 minutes of sleeping in extra feels so good. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Wake up at five, take an ice bath so you can feel good. How about just sleep another hour and a half? You'll feel good then too. <laughs> I uh, now Becca got a new job and she's terrible at sleeping through alarms. So I have to set an alarm. Oh, I hate so that. I can wake her up for her new job. Well, here's what Ann and I what really racket. yeah. Here's what Ann and I got going racket we're pulling. So Ann has to wear earbuds with white noise in them because <laughs> she can't sleep. Because of my snoring. So then I have to set an alarm when she needs to wake up (laughs) because she may not hear her alarm because her earbuds might fall out of her ears while she's sleeping. Yep. Because then the alarm goes off in the earbuds and then she can't hear the alarm. So here you can solve it. Get an old school alarm clock. They're back. Yeah, yeah, full circle. Full circle. Yep. But what if she's still got the earbuds in? She won't be able to hear it. That's true. Those, those bad boys are loud. I suppose you could set both. Yeah. I want to get an old school alarm clock that has the little dinger that goes back and forth between the bells. Got one in my office. Cool. Do you? Yep. 
I have to take a look at that bad boy. Oh, shit. We got him from the open oh, yeah, yeah, golf yeah. video and yep. they sent us a, yep. an alarm clock for some reason. Oh, yeah, because it was, yeah. It, was like, it aired super early because it was. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's a reason to get up early. Yeah. Watch a golf tournament. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting up early, take a nice bath. I don't know. Uh, another another uh, optimization hack people have been preaching is grounding. You ever heard of grounding? No. Mm-hmm. Where you go outside, no socks, no shoes. Um, and you basically, you just stand in your yard for like 20 minutes. Uh, it, <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I shit you not. No, Jared, look I, it up, my look it up. mom said something about how yeah. humans don't touch grass enough now. Well, and it's, they say <laughs> something, some, some, Kick rocks. some sort of like the earth radiates something through your feet into your body that like grounding mm-hmm. or earthing. Yeah. I think I like earthing <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> earthing refers to direct skin contact with the surface of the earth such as with bare feet or hands yep so you could just do a handstand for you 20 minutes <laughs> i think you should combine the terms just call it girthing yeah self-soothing skill to use when you are having a bad day or dealing with a lot of stress i mean i don't wear shoes in my yard pretty much ever so am i have i been grounding this whole time yeah, it, it sounds sexual. It does. I don't know why it does, but grounding or earthing. Earthing sounds more sexual. I, and does, maybe yeah. it's because you just you add kind of ing to anything that shouldn't have ing in it. It sounds sexual. Yeah. Like uh, lamping table. Lamping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like some <laughs> sexual position. Yeah. Right. Glassing. Glass. Oh God, we were glassing hard last <laughs> night. What's that? Oh, you just press your palms up against the glass, so then you can feel the crystals of that. Were I don't fucking know. Got warm in here. Yeah, we were shoeing last night. <laughs> it's just where you wear shoes in the house. It. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so. Sad. <laughs> Anytime you add ing to a word that shouldn't have ing, it sounds like a sexual <laughs> position. Yeah. No, I really don't. Like gloving. Oh, we were car and hard. <laughs> you say you were gloving? Gloving. Oh, yeah. that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why is that the case? I'm trying to think of a good one. <laughs> I just keep thinking of shit that's actual words. That has ING in it. Yeah, like walking or, yeah. or yeah, climbing. <laughs> I was climbing last, last night. night. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went outside and I was treeing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you just use a tree as a stripper pole. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> a lot of chafing. Uh, another uh, another way to spice up like a statement towards someone is um, is adding given your history at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> like if you say, uh, um, yeah, you know, I, I feel like you would do some grounding given your history. <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> yeah. like, what do you You're mean? Like, exactly. Yeah. It, it opens up. It, it opens up the other person's mind of like. Oh, yeah, what? I could see you being an ice bath guy, given your history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. Uh, another one you can do, too. Uh, you would like it, given your history. Yeah, given <laughs> your history. I have a feeling you'd like it, given your history, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you really leave people thinking of, like, well, what, what does that mean? What do you know that I don't? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, are you implying that I do something that would that is similar to this? Or are yeah. you saying that because of my personality, I might like this? Right. I like it. Yeah. Another one is it uh, when you're reading a, a fortune cookie, just add in bed to oh, the yeah. end of it. <laughs> classic. It, it, yeah, that's a classic. We should have done that one. Oldest, we should have done that in oldest trick in the book. I know. That I know. Is that's the oldest one. trick in the book. And it, it, it makes complete sense every time you add it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never fortune is coming your way. You will make a new friend in bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That one will never get old. Sharing is caring. <laughs> In bed. In bed. <laughs> Is that on fortune cookies? Dude, fortune cookies aren't fucking fortunes anymore. It's all just life advice. Yeah, like, who's drumming that? Who also like who's drumming those up? And who's drumming up the inside of a dove, uh, like uh, a dove piece of chocolate? Those quotes. Or Snapple. I think they're submitted. Oh, they are. Because a lot of times they'll say like Dale, Dale G as the one who submitted it. You know. What uh, I mean? Oh, sure. Mm. Or Snapple. Like yeah, Becky too. H. Interesting. We should submit one about grounding. Yeah, we should. Grounding and earthing. Try some grounding today yeah. in bed. Earth. Yeah. In bed. Uh, given, given your history. <laughs> <laughs> given your history, try some grounding today in bed. Well, oh, yeah. guys, no matter how this podcast goes down, you want to just want to go outside and start earthing a little bit. <laughs> I'm more of a solo earther. I, I was earthing all day. 
We should have for a Patreon episode. Just earth it. Just earth it up. Yeah. We carpeting in here. I am crocking. <laughs> I'm crocking currently. <laughs> I'm sitting. It just doesn't work. It already ends at IMG. <laughs> I'm flip flopping. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, should we take a break? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Given your history, we probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, go on. Guess what? It's game week, buddy. We didn't even let me guess what, but that's what I was going to guess. Guess what kind of game? Lumberjack Lumberjack games. We are headed to Hayward, Wisconsin this week. We are. Actually, we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. And I am the whole, we're going to have to stop every 20 minutes at holiday so I can take a leak because that's how much how hydrated I'm going to be with Ice Mountain for these games. Yeah, we we might be able to figure out some sort of road bathroom contraption so we say, can get there on time. You can just empty that uh, 156 yep. ounce jug and use that as the bathroom. Now, question is, is if I drank all of this and I had, let's say I didn't drink any water for two days and then I drank all of this, could I exactly fill this back up? <laughs> no. No, that's no, not how it works. Okay. Water, because your body's made like seventy some percent of water. Yeah, so it you're retain. It would absorb that. some. Yeah, for sure. Okay, how about if I hydrated <laughs> for two days, so I was fully seventy percented up, and then I chugged one of these ice mountains. Then, because I already ha- am hydrated, I don't need all the water. How much would I fill up? Pretty close to the top. I think if you, we can, for sure, confirm that all that other water from those two days was out of your system. Then maybe. Okay. Well, maybe we should try that experiment. Okay. Okay. So, guys, Lumberjack Games, we'll see you there. Hayward, Wisconsin. Uh, Ice Mountain's going to be there. We're going to be there. We're going to be chopping wood. We're going to be slugging waters. And it's just going to be a really hydrated event. And I'm excited. I've never been to a Lumberjack Games, but everything I've heard is pretty sweet. A lot of facial hair, a lot of wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll just have to hear about it secondhand because you're not going, Ryan. But <laughs> you can you can drink uh, ice mountain for us, right? Yeah, we'll pour one out for you when we get there. <laughs> Please do, would you? I will. <laughs> and then it'll end up soaking in the ground and flowing back to Michigan and getting into that the aquifer. Spring, so, yeah, yeah. So, guys, see you there, Tyler. 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 What? <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> What's happening? You been Mossberging lately? No. Why not? Because you forgot your gun at home when you went turkey hunting yet again. Oh, because there's no hunting seasons right now. And what is the next hunting season for you? Um, It will be bow season for deer. Actually, bear hunting. What's the next shotgun season that you have? I have to check with local regulations, Duck but hunting. I'm pretty sure I can shoot a bear with a slug. Okay. Slugging, mm-hmm. you're gonna be slugging this fall. Yeah, what uh, you got a Mossberg in mind? You're gonna bring out there with you? I mean, oh, reliable. I'll take my over under. There you go. You're not gonna yeah. take the the pump and go cocking. Nope. Cock one back <laughs> nope. in the chamber. Just I'm start OV undy. Just start pumping and cocking that gun mm-hmm. <laughs> until. And then I'm gonna have <laughs> until a... you get the bear to submit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna commit. On a handgun from Mossberg, too. I haven't picked one yet, but just as my sidearm for those bears. I believe they call that a side piece. Yeah. They, I believe they also call that pistol whipping. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pistol whip the bear to death. You're going <laughs> to pee whip them. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think you can just bear hunt because you're only like 12 yards off the bait when you bear hunt. Yeah. I could hunt one with the pistol. You could, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not holding my breath on you getting a bear. So no. okay. I'm going to continue to buy food at the grocery store. <laughs> you don't want to eat it anyway. It's not that good. Um, it's not that bad either, though. Yeah. yeah, this is kind of bear. I don't know. <laughs> not much flavor. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's really greasy. So I will tell Ann to continue to shop at the grocery store until we actually get a confirmation that Tyler puts his Mossberg to good use and feeds all of our families. That's right. So... Are you guys going to get tagged? Well, he'll, for, he'll probably forget his gun. He'll go to stand no gun. Yeah, huh? that's why I said I'm going to hold my breath. Yep. I'll go blue in the face. So are you guys going to get tags or no? Well, it's we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we're, okay. we're going duck hunting in September. Okay. So. Don't forget your Mossberg. And guys, don't forget to go to Mossberg.com and check out all the 
slug material they may have for you. So you can start slugging, cocking, and pumping. Tyler, you know we got to get on the, on our way to Hayward, Wisconsin? What? Sausage, egg, and bacon, and cheese, and biscuit, and gravy sandwich from <laughs> Holiday. What is it again? Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. The bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I'm going to go biscuiting I, yep. on our trip to Hayward. Okay. And I'm going to stop in at holiday gas stations. I'm going to come in. I'm like, anyone else feel like biscuiting right now? <laughs> and the store clerk is going to go, oh, yeah. I've been clerking all day. I, I yeah. could be biscuiting right now, too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You been gassing today? <laughs> I've been, uh... Ryan, what was the last time you went biscuiting? Uh, probably been about two weeks. Two Last weeks. like a uh, like shorter road trip. Yeah, I like that. Well, guys, you're not going to want to pass gas. <laughs> you're going to want to go gassing and you're going to want to go biscuiting <laughs> so that the clerks can do some clerking and check you out, it's checking outing. And uh, you can do all that at holiday gas stations. So don't pass gas. Turn on in to holiday gas stations. All right, Jared. Second segment here. Mm-hmm. I believe we decided on worst nightmare. Yep. What is our worst nightmare? What is our dun 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 dun, dun. worst nightmare? Now I'll kick it off here. Yeah, you mm-hmm. go ahead, Miles. What's your worst nightmare? So I discovered a new worst nightmare this last week. My brother sent me a TikTok of a guy who was caving. Oh God! Have you seen TikToks of people in caves? I have seen cavers, and I'm not talking about ones that you see on the movies where you walk in and you can set up camp and light a fire. And yeah. Oh no no oh, no! Yeah. We're talking this guy. Yeah. Like it, talking, yeah. He's got an inch of room on either side of his body, and he's just shimmying through this crevice in the rock, and it is quite literally. I couldn't watch the whole video. Want to take it up another level? Sure. I, yeah. I've seen people do that on TikTok, except underwater and scubaing through these cave tunnel systems. I just can't ima- my my hands are getting sweaty mm-hmm. just thinking about it. Look at uh, John B and Sarah Cameron. They. <laughs> it's not a spoiler, dude. <laughs> Continue. Finish your thought. No, no. Go, uh, go ahead. Finish, Tyler. Uh, I I'm done. Oh. How much money would have to be on the other side? Of that crevice in the rock, how long do for I- you to climb through it? And we're gonna say it's a quarter mile through, and there is potential. Quarter mile? I don't know. That's a long. <laughs> that's a long Think way. about one lap around the high school track, except in a tunnel. Yeah, that's not that far. How many meters is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it like have- how much money? Quarter mile. One lap around the track, crawling through there, and there is a chance that you could get stuck. It's not a guarantee you get to the other side. How long do I have to prepare? I'd say 10 mil. So have people have people gone this route before, or is this brand new? Like It's a brand new. Oh, oh you'd have it. to give me probably 100 mil. Yeah. 100 million dollars. Yeah, actually, I don't even know if I'd do it, to be honest. Yeah. Same. I just don't know if it's worth it. Right. Because if you get stuck, it's not about... Because let's just say there's no actual danger of like, you know, like the the kids who actually were in the cave and the mm-hmm. water came up. There's no water involved. OK. OK. But if you get stuck and no one's there to help you, like you may just starve to death. Now you will. Yeah, you will starve to death. So I, it's like I think I would just start panicking too soon. I don't even think I'd get a tenth of a mile in. Yeah, I don't dude. think I'm getting 40 feet into this no, thing. I'm I'm attempting, and the first inkling I have of being stuck, I'm fucking scooting the back the opposite way. Oh my god, I couldn't scoot back far enough. If I had like fast enough, a year to just lose as much weight as possible and expand yeah. my lung and, capacity and Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, Vaseline. But the thing is, is it's you only got an inch on either side of your body, so even if you get skinny, it's gonna shrink for me. Yeah. Fuck. But if it was like an inch now, I could lose an inch all around. So you got two inches to yep. work with? I think that two, is a yeah, lot. In, in that situation, that's a mile. That two is, inches. Is, yeah. yeah. That's so much. When we're talking caving, given your history, that's quite a <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if there's an amount of money on the other side. Yeah. I think I'll just c- continue to struggle in my life and figure out how to make money <laughs> the other ways. 
Because <laughs> if you die, then you and then it, it, it and you have no money. You get nothing. Because think about it, you still got to come back after Correct. you get the money. Are you coming back feet first or head first? <laughs> well, I know I could fit going, <laughs> you know, feet first. Yeah. Or, I just yeah. don't. How do you move with only an inch? I need, you got to like, like this, like your hands um, above I, your head and just pull with your fingers. But I think being in a very tight space like that is one of my worst nightmares. Because if you're in a situation of like where like, oh, my worst nightmare would be like, you know, in a situation where you actually just like would die. It's not as scary as still living and having to deal with all the fear. Mm. Yeah. One, one of my worst nightmares f- my whole life growing up now is dying underneath, drowning under some ice or getting just stuck underneath the ice on the lake. Just knowing that you are three inches away from oxygen and you can't get through. Now, to compete with that, though, you do die within a certain amount of time pretty quickly. Because it's cold, yeah. But just those that minute or whatever it would be before your brain froze and shut down all your body functions, you're like, I'm three minutes, I'm three inches away from living, and I'm not going to get out. Well, three inches is a lot, though. <laughs> yeah, it's so far away. So <laughs> really, you had no shot. Yeah. Pro tip, you have to swim to the darkness. Yeah. You do not swim to the light. Because that's where there's no ice to be illuminated, right? Well, that's because there's probably a house sitting over top of it, so no light is oh. getting in through the ice that way. Interesting. So if you do ever go underwater, Wait, what? Like a fish house. So if there's holes in a fish house, <laughs> there's no, there's it. like, there's no light, there's no sunlight getting. Yeah, why through don't you just holes. pop your head through the ice and see where you're at, and then swim to where you need to? <laughs> because it's solid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is I mean, this is very. So you want to advice. swim underneath a structure that you can definitely can't break the ice through. Well, your odds are of living are way better because there could be somebody in that house to sink. Okay. And then to gotcha. like they just start drilling holes outside for you to come up on. Oh, that's dangerous. So you stick your head up through the hole. Is it more dangerous than fucking sitting underneath <laughs> the ice, Jared? Yeah, you're yeah. pretty fucking dead. God. <laughs> well, I don't want to get a drill bit in my head. Well, so if let's which, say you're in a lake, right, and you fall through the ice, because there's not a current, you technically could just open your eyes and swim to the open hole, right? Now, if you're in a river that's maybe frozen over, then you're getting that would suck. river's tough, yeah, river's tough. But how often are rivers actually froze over? Not often. So pretty, pretty and the is ice it just is not about on panicking? A river as well. or, I mean, like, problem is, yeah. is when you jump in cold water, your breath gets taken away. And, and your, you, yeah. your brain goes in your body and your brain go into shock when the water's cold, too cold. Like the Red River is is frozen over every single year. I suppose, yeah. People still will be like that. would time. suck. You're done for. Yeah. What are you swimming to the darkness then or what? Yeah. No yeah. houses. Yeah, you still do. You just swim swim downstream. There, there's houses all over on the river. Like fish houses? Yeah. I didn't think you were allowed to. Yep. I didn't know that. And more you learn. Yep. So yeah, you just swim downstream and and, and you just at that point you gotta get lucky. <laughs> That's why I don't go on ice that's three inches thick. <laughs> no, there's no fish big enough to... It's kind of like, how much money would you cave for? There's like... If going out on three inches, which a lot of people do, and you know that's a lot of ice. Let's say two inches, which is still, still a lot of lot ice. Of um, and, and you were guaranteed a 30... Uh, the, the state record walleye. Would you still go out? No. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't either. New scenario for you guys. <laughs> there's a hole in the ice. And... Um, let's say a hundred yards away from the hole, there's money, <laughs> <laughs> but you're going under to swim underneath the ice, go get the money, swim back, come out your hole. Are you doing it? Do I get to take a break when I pop out and get the money? No, you got to grab the money. I don't know if I can do 200 yards. <laughs> I said a hundred yards. Oh yeah. It's but down you had to back. come back. You had to come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, no I one. can't do 200 yeah, could, yards. 20 I'm yards dead. maybe. You could 20, do 20. I'm trying to think of because what's fucking me is the <laughs> swimming pools are in meters, so I don't even yeah, know how are. far that is. Yeah, I just like that. I don't know if I can make it one football field underwater, let alone two. No, I don't. And just with just warm open water, I don't think I could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So maybe it have to be twenty yards. <laughs> yeah. I, I could do twenty yards. I could do twenty as well. Yeah. I think. But but you can't get in the water and then come up and go. <sighs> 
You have to just as soon as you dive in, you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think that's I the way because you, you can get you can get momentum going. That would suck though. The hole's not big enough. You run and jump and just overshoot it a little, and your neck just goes right <laughs> into the ice. <laughs> oh, there's. I was not at this party. Could you do it with a broken neck? Is the question. <laughs> I I was not at this party, but it happened in in my hometown growing up. They had a, people had a hot tub at a lake place in late spring when the ice was just coming off, but the ice was still on in the middle of the lake, right? So they'd get in the hot tub and they'd run and jump into the lake. And so this one guy gets out of the hot tub, runs and jumps in the lake, but dives and the ground is frozen still underneath the lake. And so the sand is hard and just shredded all the skin off his face. That is such a sad story. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, it's no more sad than breaking your neck trying to dive onto the ice. Yeah, but that wasn't a real story. That was a metaphorically <laughs> yeah. fantasy. Well, this was real. So be careful, guys. So, like, is his face fine now, or does he look like Two Face now? Ah, well, it just <laughs> lots of like little. They're like stars. fucking Harvey. Dent it just looks Harvey. like he got really, really bad road rash on his face. You know, like when you skin your shit on the concrete. Skinning. Yeah. <laughs> you ever you ever go skinning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have. You ever got four skinning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that wasn't. That would be your worst nightmare. What was your worst nightmare? Being under ice. Yeah, that wasn't what I had on my list. I didn't know how. Do you are literal. you worried about igloos then? Considering your fear of ice. No, because there's no water in the igloo. Okay. What if there's a torrential downpour of rain and it starts filling up the igloo? I'll probably get out of it. <laughs> okay. Smart. There's a door. <laughs> Uh, that actually isn't what I wrote down. I didn't know how serious we I were I didn't going. either. So, yeah, yeah. I wrote uh, What I wrote down was my worst nightmare is being like an hour away from home on a, on a road trip and not knowing if I shut my garage door or not because I, <laughs> I don't have a garage. Like That's phone. your worst nightmare? I didn't know how serious we were going to get with this. You know how easily you could just call Ryan and have him go over there and check? Yeah, but I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> That's like I get a camera. You got to get a camera yeah. up in the corner of the garage. So yeah, don't have one. Yeah. Prime Day, you should have got one on Prime Day. Because I've I've turned around before, like leaving the house. I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know if I shut the garage door. I gotta go check. Every day on my way to work, um, when I'm about a block away, I look in my rearview mirror to see if I close the garage door. Mm-hmm. I do that as well. It's a creature habit thing. I come out of my house and you take, take a left, and you can still see the house. I always give it a little peek, yep. make sure it went down. Yep. I who knows, maybe a fucking uh meh. Rabbit could have. Well, you just never know. You never yeah. know if Jason Statham may have sprinted towards your door as it was going down and slid underneath it to steal all your yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Which somersault underneath of the garage yeah. door is maybe, unrealistic. Maybe stuck a two by four underneath it to keep it from going down. <laughs> Which that's another thing that's unrealistic with movies. There's sensors on those doors, big time. They wouldn't close if someone slid through it. Well, not if it's one that goes down by hand. Mm-hmm. Are, is there even a garage door in existence anymore that goes down by hand? Yeah, there is. Yeah, storage yeah. units. But yeah, that's true. You ever kind of like the hand garage? But if it's doors. going down by hand, someone would just be like, "See you roll in," and be yeah. like, "Like, what are you doing?" Pew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Get out of my garage. <laughs> and also, there's no way if you're super sleep deprived that you would be just sliding under doors <laughs> super good, too. Like in those movies, it is. A well, the thing about those though. movies though is what they don't show you is those guys are. 4.45 a.m., ice bath, uh, alpha brain, um, probably a cup, cup of coffee. They ground a uh, lot. Grounding, morning journal, like the optimization those movies, yeah. like those characters are doing that they just don't show you in the movies is crazy. Yeah, if they did that, though, they wouldn't have any time for secret agenting. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it's like James Bond. How is he so cut if he never works out? And all he does is run around the world and bang women and drink. And yet he's the most fit, <laughs> yeah. well, he also, fit athlete of all time. Uh, intercourse burns more calories than just about any exercise. Oh, sex exercise. I yeah. like that. What are you, are you exercising for 30 seconds? James Bond, yeah. man. A he lot. drinks a lot of dirty martinis, so he lasts a long time. He's got whiskey dick constantly. <laughs> well, I don't think there's whiskey in dirty martinis. You know what I meant. <laughs> you don't call it vodka dick. He's got, he's got teeny dick. <laughs> Martini dick. <laughs> I just hold on, I'm suffering from teeny dick. <laughs> what? Like martini. Yeah. I had too much to drink. Yeah, well, for whiskey, why don't they just call it because whiskey is Asian barrels, they should call it barrel dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 barrel in. I had barrel dick the other day. <laughs> Jesus. Goodbye. It's raw the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about you. It just doesn't matter what we talk about. We'll <laughs> always find a way to come back to dicks and balls. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, Ryan, what's uh, your worst nightmare? I'd say one of my worst nightmares is leaving the stove on after I leave the house and my, my house uh, burning to a crisp. So a question, how mm-hmm. long does this... this is, you could have your stove on cooking a turkey for four hours mm-hmm. and your house doesn't burn down. The oven, yeah. That's the oven. Yeah. Oh, your stove. Yeah. stove top. Yeah. yeah. Stove Do you have top. a gas range? I don't, but I think the electrical ones, if they're on long enough, it can just like melt yeah. through the glass. Yeah. At least your house won't explode, though. Like yeah. the gas range ones, if they fill your house with gas, then it'll just blow up next yeah. time you turn your microwave on. Um, question, how does that happen? If the flame is lit and you're hooked up to the gas line on the, you know, it just always has gas. Yeah, the flame's not lit for the explosion thing. It's just you have the gas open, but you never started it. So it's just mm. leaking the gas yeah. out, but not lighting it ever. Yeah, so then your ho- home fills with gas, and then it blows up the next time there's a spark. Yeah. I've, gotcha. Like, kind of like you with the garage I've turned around like a block down the road to come back and make sure I sh- have shut the, mm-hmm. the stove top off. Curling yeah. irons are in the same yep. church, different pew. Yep. Yep, curling irons. Um, also, I have this thing with the instant pot. I think because I've seen a couple, a couple uh, TikTok videos on horror it. stories. Yeah, those, uh, those bad boys got a lot of pressure in them. Yep, pressure cooker. I mean, those can explode. Mm-hmm. And whenever I'm by the instant pot, I'm always like a little. I maybe like turn a shoulder to the side as if it's just when it blows up. You just stand there and in. you just <laughs> cover your nuts while you're <laughs> dealing with it. Yeah, or like, honey, I'm do using the Insta Pot. I need my nut cup. <laughs> or I throw, throw on like an old football helmet or yeah, something. Yeah, the visor. Yeah. <laughs> Could never be too careful around the Insta Pot. No, no. Anything to do with fire in the household is a is a big time yeah. uh, big time scare for me. Well, especially when I when my dog's inside. I would hate for my dog to go out that way you know <laughs> yeah i think that would be a terrible way for your dog to go yeah, yeah. would be ideal i think that would be your dog's worst nightmare probably yeah. yeah yeah so your dog and you have the same worst nightmare yeah we are two of the same yeah you dirty dog dogging Just dogging <laughs> <laughs> Jared, um, what about you uh quicksand number one uh, no no it's not it's <laughs> not. It's just not though. You never, it, I'm still out on even quicksand even existing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever watched any of the Indiana Jones? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's real. I don't know. It's a documentary. Yeah. Because I feel like we would have seen someone in quicksand on TikTok by now if it actually existed. I bet if we looked, I think it does in, in different countries. I don't understand how quicksand works. Do you, is anyone? Um, have you ever no, like mud? So you've had waders on in the lake before, right? Yeah. Um, so like if you wade out into a slough that with a mud bottom, mm-hmm. and I mean you're if you sink down six inches a foot, foot and a half, <clears throat> sometimes you can't Yeah, like get, suctions around yeah. your foot. Yeah. yeah, okay. So maybe yeah. is maybe is it the same thing with quicksand? It's just sand with a little bit of moisture in it, enough for you to sink into it. Yeah, I think or so. Or is it similar to like grain bins, how you kind of just get sucked oh, yeah. into yeah. it? Is it like that? Jared, Google it. Okay, I think I'm I'm in on quicksand now that you guys explained it. Yeah. So uh, that's your number one nightmare. Number two is being on a flight and... And not getting your mail. <laughs> They're like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, sitting at the window seat like in coach or whatever, and then like your air not working. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> like, like just the AC. Yeah. Okay. Like it's like going out during it like freaks me out. The, it's like it's get very claustrophobic then. I get it very hot. Stuffy. Oh, just being hot on an airplane is like, your worst nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> getting stuffy. <laughs> I thought you meant like the oxygen in the in the airplane. I thought you meant like out. when the per- thing comes no, down no, no, no. and you secure your own oxygen mask before assisting others, not and bad. even if the bag is not inflated, there's still oxygen flowing <laughs> yeah, to your mask. Right. That one, you mean? Yeah. You're not talking about that. No. Because that would be a much bigger fear of mine. He's talking about the little nozzle thing that kind of looks like <laughs> exactly, a big nipple yeah. that you point at yourself. Yeah, gives yeah. me a lot of anxiety. Uh, I was on a plane last week, so flew to Milwaukee, and there was a fella sitting next to me who, you know, I'm a big guy. But this guy's a little bigger than me, and the I was in the aisle seat. He was in the middle seat. Poor guy. 
and I needed my air turned on, and I just reached over, and my armpit was right in his fucking face <laughs> to turn yeah. that thing on. But then he immediately turned his on, so I feel like it wasn't a wake-up He was up waiting call. for someone to break the air conditioning yeah. seal, and yeah. you did it for him. And that, yeah. I mean, that's your airspace up there, too. You paid for that vent. So I think you have every mm-hmm. right to throw the arm, go pitting is what the, the, the yeah, airplane arm community. Pitting, yes. uh, yeah. <laughs> One thing on an airplane that I haven't done yet that I've always wanted to do, but I've always been too afraid to do is turn on my reading light. Cause I, I like to read books on the plane and it's dark in there and it's tough to read those fuckers. And I want to turn it on, but I don't want to turn it on and piss the people off that I'm next to. And I know exactly what you're talking about. And to further that, I, and this is going to make me sound like a snobby flyer, but I'm now to the point where I've flown enough and I've looked out the airplane window enough to when Mm -hmm. someone leaves the window open and just sits and stares out the window the whole time when everyone else around them. So it'd be your aisle. He's got the light shining in from the sun and everyone else has got their shit closed and you have to sit in the one aisle with the window open is the absolute Mm -hmm. worst. The only time I like that is when I'm trying to read and I'm too scared to touch my reading light. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that. Yeah. Yeah. It is his window, and you you have the choice of the window I know, seat. I know. I'm just saying. Once in a while, I'll do like a. Or maybe just put my sunglasses on. Yeah. Once in a while, you'll bring like the flight attendant over and just like whisper in your ear while while looking over at that person. I actually lived a a nightmare of mine. I was one of the last people on the plane, so everyone had already taken their seat. And I went oh, yeah. to go, you were there for that, weren't yeah. you? I went to go put my luggage in the overhead compartment. Didn't fit. <laughs> the whole place is watching him. But I oh, didn't yeah. want to have to do like the valet thing, you know, where they take the ticket and put it underneath the plane. So I get it up there and I just start jamming this thing in there. <laughs> for like, I imagine it was probably only 45 seconds, but it yeah. felt like 10 minutes to me. <laughs> And I'm starting to sweat and everyone's watching, cut the tension with a butter knife in that thing. I was scrambling to get my phone to film it. Yeah. And kudos to me for persisting without exception. I was not going to let that luggage win. And sure enough, I got that sucker in there. And actually, the plane started like cheering People and clapping. Clapped. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I was there for that. Do you remember what trip it was? Uh, it could have been Ozarks. Yeah. I don't know, but it was, and everyone clapped. but it went from nightmare to kind of funny because everyone clapped. But if no one would have clapped that, it sucks so I bad. Well, I don't know either. If no one claps, then you may be like, oh, maybe no one saw. I just have a, I have a question about planes in general. Um, why, like, why are they not loading back to front? Uh, one lady at Fargo made a super passive aggressive comment about that. <laughs> She's like, I think we're going to board this plane the smart way today. Back rows first. And well, then, that was an Allegiant flight because there's no first class. Yeah, but still. So that's was, why they do it is the was, first class gets to go on first, so then they feel like they're superior they're and they got their money's worth. Um, but yeah, she she was just super passive aggressive about it, and I thought that was kind of funny. Um, one thing that happened to me for the first time when I was going to Myrtle Beach, what, a month ago? The plane door was right in the middle of the plane. Mm-hmm. So... Yep. Yep. I've never done I've never seen a plane like that. So then you just split. So like Yeah, you, that's how it should be yeah. most of the time. Big fan of that. Yeah. Keep that up, Delta. Where we go. You got any other worse nightmares? Uh my third one's probably carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. I don't think you But also it wouldn't be that bad, right? You kind of just fall asleep. Yeah, you can't you well, cause you can't it's it's odorless. Right. You can't exactly. smell it. Yeah, it's just like the unexpected nature of it, man. You just, God, you can't say goodbye to anything. There's no planning. You're just dead. I don't know. I think I'd rather die not seeing it coming than anticipating dying. Yeah. <laughs> say that now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll let you guys know when the time comes. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, couldn't I have been more wrong? That sucked. One of my other worst nightmares is when Ryan and I inevitably get invited to, like, the Waste Management Open, and we're playing hole 16 or a popular hole, and I fucking peg someone with a ball. You're going to peg someone at the Waste Management Open? Yeah, that is one of my worst nightmares. 
<laughs> like I just I hate that it. could very well happen like, too with how close they stand. Right. Like I I shank one <laughs> and it hits a kid. Like that's a worse. Nightmare. I think just hitting anyone with a golf ball is kind of a nightmare of mine. Yeah. My brother did that. Hit Santa Claus right in the belly. It was this fat guy with a white beard. <laughs> he was walking on the hole next to us, and my brother snap hooked one right, hit him right in the belly. Did that drop? Made the loudest thud I've ever heard in my life. Really? Oh, yeah. What did the guy do? And we just had to pretend like it didn't happen, you know? Like, <laughs> what? We were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you? Did he drop? Like, it wasn't even enough time to yell four is how quick it happened. Huh. <laughs> thud. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the guy didn't hit the ground or anything? No, he dropped. He was he was carrying his bag. He dropped his bag. Look left, look right, look up. And uh, I mean, he shouldn't have been standing there, but. He got the jingle bell rung. <laughs> yeah, he did. That guy had to have had a bruise on his belly the size of Saturn. I mean, it was unreal how hard he got hit. Ouch. I mean, on the plus side, it hit him in the belly. I think he even threw the ball back, you know, like when you hit a home run, opposing team hits a home run. Yeah. Um, another nightmare of mine is just going to any graduation ceremony that isn't like 80 people. Mm. My sister had infinite amount of graduations not to brag i guess for her i don't know what she needed all the degrees for but we had to go to every graduation and there'd be a thousand people and you have to sit and listen to a thousand people go through because i mean maybe we need to make it more normalized that once your kid or your sibling or whoever gets their name called you can just cheese it out of there yeah, that's but, what I would yeah. assume people do, right? They're not. No, you're supposed to wait till everyone's called. So the last the people last in line aren't just getting clapped to by an empty chair. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> Tyler Ziggler yeah. fucking just just his dad. Ah! Drone. <laughs> yeah, his dad's got the drone inside. <laughs> <laughs> be a lot safer for him trying flying a f- drone because yeah. we know how close he gets to shit. <laughs> They should just set, they should do like sections of the alphabet from like so noon to one. They do letters A through F. Uh, MSUM. I, I went to my sister's graduation this year and they did that. They did it. That's huge. Well, man. they did it by major, not alphabetical. So it was like a four day thing. They did four different ceremonies and it was like these t- two majors today, these two majors the next day, and so on. That's the way to do it. Which it was sweet because Paige was last in her major group because her last name is Ziggler. And we were out of there an hour and a half, which was still long, but such a nightmare. Yeah. God. It, it could have been way worse. Yeah. But yeah, it's one of my nightmares. A lot of clapping too. God, I'm just I don't clap. If Ann and I do end up having a child, it's why I'm thinking about the whole time he's being born. God, graduation's gonna <laughs> suck. <laughs> Imagine when you have to go to like preschool and kindergarten graduation. Yeah. Hold your kid for the first time. Yeah, we're going to uneducate you. I don't want to sit through a graduation <laughs> ceremony, you fucking little runt. You're getting a GED. Yeah. Let's do online. <laughs> yeah, you get one clap and that's it. Yep. So. Or Angie's going to FaceTime you during the ceremony. Yeah. I'll just get to record the whole thing and then just snip the one part where the kid goes and then yeah. watch that. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't going to be there. Why? You'll we'll be, we'll be working probably. Yeah. We'll be working so I can pay off that college debt for my kid. <laughs> Just the golf course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got to win money off of Ryan <laughs> on the course. I'm going to pay for that kid's college tuition. Mm-hmm. 20 years from now. You pay me so I can pay my kids college tuition and then... I pay you on the golf course pay so you forward. can pay your kids college tuition. Exactly. Uh, man, just a random question for you guys. Are you guys in on trying to pay for your kids' college education? Is that yeah. like, I don't know if it's still a thing, but it was always a thing of like, you know, I got a college fund for my kid and, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to have my parents pay for college. So I want to do that for my kids. You think, are you guys in on that? I, I'm in a hybrid of that. I think uh, I'm going to have a college fund for them, but there's going to be like some stipulations around it. Like you can have this if you are in a sport and if you're not in a sport, you have to be working a job and paying for these certain things and then I'll help pay with this. Mm. So they don't just, they're not just a piece of shit the whole time. Yeah. I, yes, I, I, I think we've already decided we're going to, but we're not going, 
we're not going to make that public to them until until oh. student loans probably mm. kick in six months after they graduate. So like we'll go through the like the we can go through the financial aid process and whatever. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. Well, no. And it, that it, sucks, though. <laughs> you know how shitty it is to try to do the FAFSA? No, I know. And I didn't do any of that shit because my mom did it for me. Um, that must be fucking lot. nice. It, it sucks, does Tyler it not? Feels. Hey, if, I, if you could get out of it. Yeah. I had to do it myself. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think uh, I'm for sure going down a route where they're not going to know that it's paid for until a specific time. To make to ensure that they're still working hard. But then will the jig be up if you have a second kid and the first kid surprised? Are they going to? No, it's a pact of silence. You tell your first kid, be like, "Hey, you tell your brother anything." They'll still tell him, dude. If you tell him, I'll take it back. Turn this car around. And the other sibling's going to know when Ryan's kid is in the dorms and he's got a new PS (laughs) Five. You know, <laughs> well, right. Well, PS twenty, whenever. Yeah, right? I mean, my second kid's probably gonna have it way better than my first kid. I think that's usually how it works, isn't it? I don't know. My first kid is a little more spoiled. I just kind of let the second one do whatever. Yeah, I think you just don't pay for colleges. I think where I'm at. Yeah. Supposed because technically college is supposed to be an investment in yourself, and you should be able to pay the loan back by the job that you get by going to college. That's the risk you take. Yeah, I mean, teach their own. To teach their own. Either that or it's just going to be like... I'm going to heavily encourage my kid goes into the trades anyway. Yeah. Maybe the t-shirt trade? We could use an no. extra hand around here. No. Yeah, you uh, go, for, go to school for two years and then you start making a boatload of money. Yeah. Yeah, diesel mechanic or something. Yeah, electrician. Well, maybe even a... Uh, Tow truck guy, maybe. That is be badass. fucking bad. My own kid would be my hero. <laughs> it would be nice to have a badass kid in your family that yeah. is scared of nothing. And yeah. I smoke so many cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. He'd come to Christmas, and be like, "What do you want? You're the coolest person here. You are in charge." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? We'll mm-hmm. make it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be funny. Hey, buddy. did you bring your tow truck here or no? Yeah. Can we go look at it and smoke cigs by it? <laughs> Yeah, maybe he pays for his own college, but you buy his first tow truck for him. <laughs> I, I'm going to start buying my kids like tow truck toys just yeah. to push this career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And candy cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> candy cigarettes and tow trucks. Just never have them wear a, a winter jacket either. Yeah. Just the t-shirts only. No boots, yep. just maybe insulated Crocs is the warmest they'll get for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that sounds like a good plan. Hell yeah. Well, guys, I think that, that was good. We we I think we kind of conquered our fears. The first step is talking about it. Yeah, so you're talking. not you're not paying for college. I don't really wanna. What if you're What if you he or she listens to this podcast? They're like, Dad, what? You're yeah. gonna, Dad, Dad, Dad. What do you want to tell your future? Ryan and kids? Tyler's kids are getting their college paid for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, well, then go live with them. It's a great, a great comeback. <laughs> it's a great comeback. Yeah. Go fucking live with them. What if they go to like? What if they go to a really expensive private school for like a marketing degree or something? I will disown them. Okay, so okay, so you're gonna have a little. You'll educate them on the education system. You know, like the you know, like crazy religious families that brainwash their kids and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I'm gonna brainwash my kid against college. Sure. Mm. Because that's what parenting is: is just brainwashing them however you want to, right? If they're paying for it, I'm only a year into it, so I, I. but your kid's going to grow up thinking the UFC is the coolest thing on earth. You're probably. brainwashing them. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Miles, if your kid's paying for his own college, I think they can go wherever they want. That yeah, is true. No, yeah. That is true. Yeah, but if they want me to pay for it, ain't going to happen, I don't think. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Either that or I'll just, in my old age, I'll just get soft and just say, I don't fucking care. Yeah, you're not going to pay. Whatever it. gets you off my back the quickest. <laughs> Here's a check. Yeah, dude. You, yeah, you're paying for college. But, but, Come on. Yeah, then Miles, you pay, <laughs> stop kidding yourself. If you give up, then you have to help them move into their dorm room. That's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, you helping your kid move into college, it would be a spectacle. Why? Because you hate moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just dumb. Everyone wants to do everything the dumbest way. When you like sh- got- when you should just spaz on a piece of furniture and just move it by hand, that people don't. They try and use something else. Yeah. And when you should be smart and use like a dolly, no one does. They want to do it by hand. Yeah, that's the number one rule about moving. Apparently, yeah. 
There's so many people in the way. We had uh, yeah. <laughs> the football players would get to school before everyone else. So freshman year, all the freshman football player had to help the rest of the students move into the dorms. And every one of us just reeked of booze. We're still <laughs> drunk or hung over from the night before. Yeah. And it was pretty inefficient That's moving so going sick. on. No, it was just <laughs> you can smoke like smelled like reefer. <laughs> Uh, fucking fuck, dorm the, room hooch yeah. reeking off my body. God, they got the fucking best bud in college, so, dude. So <laughs> much fucking latex smells coming from the hallways from all the sex that you guys were having before everyone got there. Latex. Uh, <laughs> if you would have let me finish. Um, if you want to see ahead, in, inefficient movers just grabbing one little thing or grabbing a dolly for nothing, it was that crew that morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the amount of... Well, you, see, you guys are so, so <laughs> fucked up from the night before. <laughs> you got... Yeah, fuck. You guys had the biggest limp dicks of all time. So much fucking teeny dicks. At <laughs> from all the martinis the night before. <laughs> fucking $2 martinis over that mix. <laughs> Gross. Fucking sex toy bingo. Fucking smoking cigs being like, you guys... You guys are going to learn something. I've only been there for two extra weeks, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like he's been there for four years. <laughs> yeah, you meet, this, you meet a kid on the football team that's from some small town and just smoking cigarettes at the store, you're like, fuck, yeah, this is, okay, I, I can get on board, and that's when it starts, the addiction right there. Marbreds. Cigs in the dorms? Yep. Outside the dorms. To be courteous. I can't imagine. I bet dorm rooms now, there's so much vape going on oh, and, yeah. oh yeah, i mean it's, it's so gotta close. be hazy just from the vapor yeah yeah i mean my buddies i wasn't but my buddies were smoking <laughs> way worse than vapes in college kids don't even know no kids don't even know what kids used to be smoking in college <laughs> like my buddies <laughs> i wasn't but my buddies were that shit was crazy dude. That's i could so i could sick. smell it from the other dorm hall like 100 yards away <laughs> Like, yeah, fucking Dennis is over there. Football field away. Yeah, he yeah, must be ready to go to How supper. How many meters is that? It's <laughs> a lot. It's not that. It's a lot of meters. Not that many yards. A lot of meters. But kids don't even, these days don't even know what <laughs> my buddies were smoking back in college, dude. It was crazy. <laughs> Just keep saying that. They don't even know. You guys don't I'm know. gonna tell my son that dude. You don't even know you what my no... buddies were smoking in college. <laughs> yeah, tell them that tonight. You have no fucking clue. <laughs> you literally have no idea. You don't have an inkling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'll never know <laughs> what my buddies and and us and well not me, but my buddies used to smoke. I'm not paid for your college either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that tonight. I'll send you guys a video. <laughs> you don't even know. You'll you just never know. I'll do it during like uh, we're reading a book before. <laughs> yeah, you'll never know. <laughs> my buddies, not me, but my buddies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, my buddies were crazy that <laughs> day. <laughs> anyway, Tyler, yeah, the moving in was not that fun. <laughs> Especially reeking like booze. <laughs> yeah. Got to sweat it out though, Tyler. Oh yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of disappointed fathers just for watching us. <laughs> a lot of head shake. Watch. Wow. My buddy, and this is a true story. My buddy, when he was moving into college, he got his car stolen. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, because he just he had a bunch of shit in there. He's moving. He left his he left his he left his car unlocked. Was bringing stuff up. Car stolen. It's <laughs> a good idea. Found actually. it like two weeks later. None of his shit was in it. That's the worst time to get your car stolen. Yeah. Moving. Yeah. 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 Yep. Hey, but then your moving's done. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sweet. It's kind of okay, a well. win lose situation, yeah. you know. All right, boys. What are we smoking? <laughs> College. Well, yeah, my Crash fucking year. car got stolen. What are we smoking? <laughs> 
college life, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I had all this good weed there. <laughs> yeah, good. That's actually a good way to bum some shit off other people. Mm-hmm. I I could have brought you guys like a pound of marijuana, <laughs> but my car got stolen. Can I have yours? Sympathy card. <laughs> I had so many cases of beer in my <laughs> trunk of my car. It got stolen. And you guys would have been the first ones to have it. Oh, God. Yeah. If I ever get that car back. <laughs> it's all skunky. And then you'd, you'd see you driving around campus the next day. Like, what happened to all the booze? They drank it all. For Christmas, though, I, I'll make sure I get you back. Yeah. I'll bring it back over Christmas. I got a buddy that will buy it. Yeah, I got a buddy. <laughs> my old buddy's going to be home over Christmas Guys, break. you won't believe my car got stolen over Christmas break. <laughs> and all the beer there, oh, good. Yeah. I had a beer. handle of Captain Morgan in there. It got stolen. You and just I, like intentionally punch your own window out and put the yeah. little the plastic with the duct tape over it just to really sell the story. Keep crime scene tape in your yeah. back, in your trunk. Yeah. The cops are looking into it right now. I might get it back. <laughs> but anyways, can I have some of your guys' beer? Yeah. <laughs> can I bum one? Oh, that's the best. <laughs> can shift shift face off your buddy's beer is the best. Uh, well, guys, I think that's another episode of Even Your Radio before T shirt guys gets any more squirrely. Yeah, we gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta go pick up your kid. Yeah, pretty quick here. So, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio podcast. Follow us on patreon.com slash you bet your radio. We got episode every week going there. Absolute fire every week. I think that's it. You got anything else, t-shirt guy? <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. May your college dome dorm be hot boxed <laughs> and your cars be unstolen. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.